Today I'm going to be showing you how you could use these Mogart effects in Adobe Premiere to get this effect. Today I'm going to be covering this new effects pack that we dropped with Cinepax. We actually dropped this pack a while ago in After Effects only. So it was an After Effects only template. It was the first kind of pack we dropped like that. Then recently we were able to turn it into a Mogart pack. So it actually works in After Effects now and it works in Premiere. If you already had the After Effects version, check your email because you're getting a free update with all the Premiere ones. So if you want to use it in Premiere, we also dropped a version for DaVinci Resolve. So in DaVinci Resolve, it's actually a whole different pack. It has like tons of like parameters and things that you can change and it looks super sick. Similar effect, uh, but it has a little bit more you can play with. So if you edit in DaVinci Resolve, one, I don't know why you're watching this video, but two, definitely go pick that pack up. I'll link the DaVinci Resolve video down here below as well. So I'm gonna hop into Premiere. I'm gonna show you how easy these Mogarts are to use and I'm gonna show you how quickly we can get some cool effects. Let's do it. So once you download and unzip the files, uh, they're just gonna look like this and you're literally just gonna drag them into uh, your essential graphics tab right here or you can um, find the folder. You just, to find your folder, just click add additional folders right there. All you have to do is just drag them into your timeline. So once the effects in your timeline, you really just have to drag in your clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this clip in right here. And you can see when we play it. So let me render it out so we can watch the playback. It is a little bit slower in Adobe Premiere. After Effects, it's able to handle these effects a lot easier. So you can see we get these crazy film effects on our footage for about 10 seconds. Um, so some things that we can do, um, if you wanna get rid of the color distortion, you see how it's like orange and this side's pink. Um, you can just turn down the blend all the way and then that's just gonna basically keep it the same color if you like the blend you can totally turn that up and you can also change the color so let's say I'm not really digging the pink let's say uh, let's say he's got blue on so yeah let's maybe do like a little bit let's go a little aqua blue right there and then let's do this one let's maybe go more red since we have some red in there you know um so yeah like let's see what happens if i turn that to 100. that looks pretty cool let's even put that one to 100 and then you can also play with the blur so like let's blur it all the way up or we could bring it down if you want to see a little more um let's see yeah it's really up to you and then you can also play with the displacement so what the displacement is going to be it's where the clip is uh kind of sliding a little bit so this one's, let's, you know, we can make it a little less. We can make it more if we want it really displaced. So playing that through, that actually looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make another clip here. So let's go ahead and look at some of these other ones. Let's say I wanted to do this for the title of my video. So let me go ahead and add some text. The name of this song was Red Light. And I'll just put, let me actually go ahead and try it with some text. I'm actually gonna use one of our titles from our title pack. So let me go ahead and throw that on. Uh, so this is how our title packs come. The song is called Red Light and all that other stuff is good. I'll turn on the background. Uh, let me select, honestly, tint is sometimes the easiest. I just want it white. So let me go effects, tint, turn white to, or black to white there we go what i'd have to do is i'm gonna nest these so if i go click here then i click reveal and project i drag that nest right into there and then i'm able to get my title on there so these look good on titles especially if they're on black backdrops which i can show too or i can even just turn that off um then if you do need it to go longer, you could just drag another one on and then uh, drag the rest of your clip in there as well. Um, so that's what you would do. But uh, let's go ahead and play with this. So this one actually has three different colors. Um, so we could actually, we could just leave it how it is or we could turn up the uh, tent as well. Let's just crank the tent just so we could really see what it's doing. You can play with the frequencies up here is how often they go. So you can see it really takes a title up to another level. It definitely gives it that film look, 
right here in Adobe Premiere. I actually showed all this in After Effects. Uh, like I said, you can do a little bit more in After Effects, but if you just want something quick and dirty, uh, the Mogarts are going to be the move. Uh, so you get both with a pack. So most likely if you have Premiere, you have After Effects, but definitely get the DaVinci pack if you have DaVinci because that one's totally different. I even downloaded DaVinci and played with it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So links all down in the description. More packs coming soon. New lens filters coming soon. Uh, definitely stay up to date with us on Instagram. There's my personal Instagram. There's the Cinepax Instagram, Studio Instagram, and we even have a lens filter page Instagram. So wherever you want to follow us, uh, we're a little more active in those areas. I'm Tyler Casey. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.